All right, guys, welcome to Real Life Real Tech. We're here for a second test on the Mavic 2 versus the Mavic 1. It is OcuSync 2.0 versus Advanced Wi-Fi. I know who's going to be the winner. You think OcuSync? Yeah, hands down. So Has guys, to be. Guys, if you, if you have the Mini 1 and you're thinking upgrading because you want that nice, smooth footage, come on back, transmission back from the Mini 2. This is a test you want to be watching. Okay, will we get into it? Let's get into it. Then. It is very cold. Alright. So we got the footage from both of them now and we're gonna put them up in the air. So we've got the mini one going first here and it's gonna be about two and a half minutes long, so just stick with me. Um fifty to sixty meters bang, mini one hits signal issues. So here's a quick comparison between the two images from the transmissions from recorded from the phone. Um I, I feel there's more breakup in the mini one's image, and um, there were different settings and slightly different times of flight, so sorry about the colour differences. But up until here, there was no real issues with the Mini 1, apart from the weak signal at the very start, but it didn't affect the flight. We we're about to hit 300 meters, and there's been a little bit of stuttering, not too much, and we do a stick check right now. There was no issues with the sticks, it performed pretty well at 300 meters. So then we're going to push it a little bit further forward. Now, we're going to get to about 400, 450 meters, and we're going to get a strong wind warning coming up. So that pops up and look, it, the Mini 1's obviously fighting this um, and this is where the Mini 2 probably excels a little bit more with the motor strength and the fine tuning they've done. When we hit 500 meters, no issues with the Mini 1. You know, the signal and the image transmission is very much usable. What we're going to do is we're going to jump over to the Mini 2 now and we're going to see the difference at the sort of same part. There was no issues right up until this point. Mini 2 has a Mini stutter just about now. So there it was. That was the only issue with the Mini 2 throughout the whole flight. So we're going to let it run until we hit the 700 meter mark. And you're going to see there's no issues. Um, the fog doesn't help with the image. But in all fairness, the image coming from it is absolutely top notch. And is very much usable. This is at 700 meters. We're going to do a quick stick check turn around. And as you can see, no issues whatsoever with the Mini 2. Held up really strong. Now jumping back to the Mini 1. Pick up where we left off. So... You can see there's still strong wind warnings, it disappears for a bit, and there's break up in the image. We do a quick stick check up in the air about 600 meters away from us, and there is a delay between what I'm telling the drone to do and what the image is feeding back to me. Now, in a second we're going to push this forward on towards the 700 meter mark, and if you keep an eye on the trees, you're going to see there's break up in image, and just it isn't as crisp and as sharp as the Mini 2 was. But still, even with the strong wind warnings, it does fight it really, really well. So super happy with that, with the Mini 1. Now, we're going to hit the 700 meter mark. And at this point, we do a couple little checks. And there is a lot more delay than there was before. Right, guys. So we've just finished the test. And I'm surprised. <laughs> we're blown away. <laughs> Literally <laughs> blown, blown away. away. <laughs> yeah. like the, the Mini 1... It's a, the, the classified is still a two point hertz uh, transmission, but it's advanced Wi Fi. And I have to say, if I had the Mini 1 to upgrade to the 2.0 OcuSync, I don't know if I. Yeah, that was my main reason for upgrading and the new controller. Um, Decken was a very. You were a wee bit nervous about it. I was a wee bit nervous. Around, I think it's 600, 500, 600. <laughs> there was strong winds coming up, so yeah. that's one benefit of the Mini 2 over the Mini 1. And the resolution wasn't as good on the screen, but it was still enough to get the shot you wanted. It was and realistically, are you ever going to take them drones out that far for a shot? To be honest, not, not really. My um, advice would be never take the drones out that far for a shot. Try and get closer to the subject. Um, but people will. So uh, yeah, one thing I would say though is the conditions, barring the wind, are pretty good for signal. We had line of sight. Yeah. Um, you know, there's not many houses around here. <laughs> Just on that, Dagi, what we're going to do next, we're going to try and take it around obstacles and see how strong the signal is. So we're going to try it around some trees and then we're going to try it around a nice old castle in Ireland. What a about that? Castle? <laughs> oh! It's not mine. All right, let's, <laughs> let's go and see that. So we found a spot where we could fly it around some trees, um, sort of a little mini forestry area. First we put the Mini 1 out, um, had it to fly around, there was no sort of issues around this sort of section. Yes, it's a little bit delayed, a little bit stuttery, but it's still very much usable. But when we hit that 50 meter mark, we seem to run into a couple of problems. As you can see, the image 
it, it just starts breaking up there's a delay in the signal what's coming back and if you're trying to nail a shot this isn't ideal um, so definitely you know it's not where we want it to be if you're on site or you're on shooting and then this happens you, you're gonna lose a little bit of faith in it um, constantly weak signal and then this happens so it actually drops signal so remote controller signal lost now you can see the down the bottom it turns around that's me actually trying to run round to get to it we run round to get to it and we reconnect to it now jumping over to the mini 2 we're gonna see a different story so again these are both these both were filmed in cine to get a slow sort of shot following the road going round and then we're gonna push out at this point here, the Mini 1 failed um, and lost signal. The Mini 2 continues on, OcuSync's working absolutely brilliantly. Push it out to, I think it's around about 140, 150 meters away from us. Um, actually a little bit further. Gear, turn it round. And so the idea of this shot is to sort of fly it out and then fly to back towards yourself and going up over the trees while sort of tilting the camera down. Mini 1, Due to signal issues, couldn't complete it perfectly. Now, the Mini 2, as you can see, there's no dropouts, no issues, and it got the shot we wanted. Okay, so we're jumping over to test to uh, for the OcuSync obstacles and we flew this out to the other side of a castle which would be 57 58 meters away from us we were on the other side turning it round moving it side to side as you can see there's a there's weak signal and just the image coming from it when we're doing the move shots just isn't great now comparing that to the mini 2 flew it out to the same sort of distance done the same side to side turn the camera and the image coming from it is just so much better and uh, it's more stable so yeah OcuSync 2.0 wins this one hands down coming up next we tried to well we I say I tried to fly it through a window and uh, successfully no bother at all with the Mini 2 first time but uh, we'll let you look at this uh, this is the Mini 1 coming up now So from there, it does look like it was me, but if we just look at this shot really quickly, um, this is what I'm saying. It, it's the wind. Definitely the wind. All right, guys. So that was very enjoyable, Daggy. I'm sorry about your uh, mini one. Uh, that has to be put down not to advanced Wi-Fi or Gus in the in in the castle that Daki was thinking. I think is that that was down to drone operator error, I think. What do you think, Daki? What's your take on that? Still going to blame the wind. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, what we want to conclude, OcuSync 2.0 works really well line of sight. And to be fair, the Wi-Fi Advanced um, works really well really line of sight. I think where you're going to come up with the problems is simple shots like this, taking a, a picture of a point of view around a castle or a building or trees, you're going to yeah. get that stuttering image around the back and you're not going to get that smooth control as you would with the OcuSync 2.0. Yeah. To be honest, we are seeing that. I'm sold on the Mini 2, on the OcuSync 2.0. I think you're gonna have more problems, and, and that's probably more of a shot that you will get, or yeah. there's more of a shot that you'll be shooting, um, like, not a distance, but like going around trees or yeah. going around buildings. From a user's point of view, if you're trying to get a shot and you wanna remove yourself from it, you can put yourself out of frame with OcuSync 2.0 and still have the confidence that you're gonna get the signal and you're gonna get, you know, the clear transmission. Yes. To go around the corner that you're never gonna be able to keep a full line of sight on because you don't wanna be in a shot. Yeah, so to get that smooth shot, you really want that transmitted to your phone and with OcuSync 2.0, you're gonna get that. Yeah, agreed completely. Um, but yeah. So good test, yeah, I like that. Definitely good test and Mini 1 is definitely up for sale. <laughs> <laughs> if you like the video, guys, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And check out the links down below to our other videos that we have done with the Mini 2. Thank you very much. Bye.